All right. Okay, here we are at the Wigwam Motel. And she said that, yeah, we have to go through this gate here. It's obviously a very interesting place. A lot of vintage vehicles around. Oops. And I suppose you can also stay in one of these uh, tents or whatever it is. And we're in room number one, she said. So let's go check it out. There's a Safeway grocery store right across the street. Here we are, number one. Okay, so we are inside. Nice thing I like about it is it is not carpet. It looks like anywhere. Pretty large bed. We have air conditioning here. Some kind of stucco wall or something like that with paint on it. What's that? Cool looking ceiling. Small television. Entertainment stuff. World War Z movie. Oh. Shelving. Here's the bathroom. See, some pretty old fixturing right here, but okay. Everything looks decently clean here. It's pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of corrosion there, but not too bad. I don't think we'll be taking a bath. Probably be going for a shower anyway. Okay, it has a little kitchen room. Switch the light on. The same cheap coffee maker you find everywhere. That looks a little bit not as clean as I would have liked. Here you have a little table with some chairs, small refrigerator. Oops. Looks nice and clean. Can't complain about that. Microwave. Some paper plates and stuff. That's nice. Uh, interestingly, they're giving us an additional fold-out bed. I'm not too sure why. Okay. Let's uh, check the... It's not too bright in here. That's one thing. It's a little bit dim. Well, let's check this the bed and the sheet situation. That's to me one of the most important things is that the sheets and stuff are clean. That's looking pretty good. That's actually looking really good. Let's check under this layer. Okay, good. Usually you can tell right away if you see like hair or any kind of stains. This actually looks very clean. Pretty happy with that. Let me see if I can get some more light in here real quick. There we go. That's our view. Okay, pillows and sheets look quite good and clean. I'm happy with that. Very happy about that. Okay, overall, this actually is really good. It's nice they have a little bench here you can sit down on, and it's nice they have a trash can, nice large one you can. Put your garbage in. Here we are on the side of the building. tracks right there. I'm sure we'll hear a train going by. I did actually read some people mentioned that in the reviews. One kind of odd thing I didn't notice at the first was that this uh, toilet is unusually close to the sink. So it's just kind of like 
I don't think I've ever seen the toilet that close to the sink. Okay, summary time. So, well, so it may be that where the air conditioning is located, you get air blowing on your face all day and you get kind of cold and that's kind of annoying. And it may be that all night, every couple hours, a train comes by and rumbles the entire building slightly. And it may be that the sink is extremely low for some reason, and I'm not even very tall. And it may be that when you turn the water on, it kind of splashes out of the sink. And when you go to turn it off, it can just continue going around and turn back on. It may be also that the bathtub isn't exactly the cleanest bathtub you've ever seen. It may be that there are no outlets with three prongs, so you can't charge your laptop. But if you look at my bill, it's $57 a night. $57 a night. So with all that in consideration, I give this Airbnb slash hotel slash motel four out of five stars because yes, it has some problems, but $57, $57, four stars out of five stars. Check it out if you want. Bye y'all.